Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and his channel. <laughs> and today we're going to be doing stupid icebreakers. Yeah. Let's get into it. What is the funniest thing you've read online recently? Something on Instagram reels. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I read today on um, Instagram that they're putting a naked, like, Trump uh, statue in the middle of Phoenix. No, they're not. They are. Look it up. Really? It's on Instagram. I mean, it's probably not true, but like... That's funny. That's hilarious. In your opinion, what's the funniest word in the English language? Beefcake. What's your hot take on a very popular movie or TV show? Oh, okay. I feel like this isn't popular right now, but it was Bizarrevark. Whatever it's called is actually shit. Like, I hate that TV show. <laughs> That's with two boobs right there. <laughs> it's so stupid. Okay, what's yours? Uh, movie or TV show? Yeah. I, um... Stop, dude. <laughs> Make it brighter. <laughs> My bad. Um... I... Hate... Just let me in. I hate Harry Potter. <gasps> Have you never even watched it? I've seen all of them. I love Harry Potter. I, I hate Harry Potter. I love Potter. Harry Potter. I, garbage, dude. What even is that? <laughs> First ever! Oh. Star Wars is so much better. Nope. Mm -mm. Okay, that's a huge hot take right there. <laughs> Star Wars, is, you're gonna hate... So okay, gonna listen, hate you. guys. I grew up with basically all of it. I only have one sister. There's five of us, okay? I grew up watching the original, so like, whatever's the newest thing. And I don't think it's a bad movie. I just now wouldn't be like, let's watch it. I've watched it with many times, and it's just... That's a oh, problem. Very much. I could pick up and watch Star Wars anytime. Star Wars is a no. national true Sorry, classic. Guys. Oh, this is pimple. If you were a sitcom character, what would be your catchphrase? A what? A sitcom character. Like oh, Joey yeah. has like uh how you doing? <laughs> how you doing? Or, or like, Michael Scott. Joey has, doesn't share food. I don't share food. What would mine be? I hate everyone, is that one? Sure. I hate everyone or Red Bull sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> I say it way too much. I say it off camera too. I, I don't know if I could say mine. Probably suck it. <laughs> yeah, you can say that. It's YouTube. It's fine. You don't say it that often. No, but I could. Suck it or like... Yeah, probably suck it. Suck it would be a good one. Yeah. With a crouch jump. <laughs> like, Degeneration X. Insert here. <laughs> Break it down. Do -ne 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 I like completely zoned out. <laughs> Continue. Uh, if you could be invisible for a day, what would you do? Do yours. You have to answer. You can't not go. No, I, I was going to go after you. I was going to think about it. Uh, definitely rob a bank. Steal as oh, much money actually, as possible. If I was invisible for a whole day, like hotwire and steal a car, I want to do that. <laughs> it's hard to do invisibly, though. Why? The car just can't move by itself. I'll do it like in the middle of the night. But no one would know. No, there's no camera. That's the thing. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> Number 12. You apply to be a part of the Avengers, but are rejected because your superpower is kind of boring. What is it? Mm -hmm. I go walk through walls from 9 to 5 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> I can only read people's minds in the morning hours. <laughs> so their mind is mush? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Read people's mind. First, think of a Disney character. Go. Disney character. One, two, three, go. Cinderella. What would their dating app bio say? Does, does anyone know where my shoe is? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, Disney character. Okay, you got a one, two, three knee. One, two, three. Hercules. What's their bio? Adopted. <laughs> uh, two loving step parents. Um, super into the gym. Oh, I only did one thing. We were supposed to do more. I don't know. I'm just more in-depth about it. Oh, I super into the gym, and, um, I'm partly a god. Oh, Sam, wait. Let me get it. Come here. Okay, come, come here. I gotta let you in on a secret. Ow.
Ooh, Sorry, yeah, over with. That's the video. What's your most embarrassing childhood memory? <laughs> I had a lot. I'm a very embarrassing person. I embarrass myself on the daily. So I have a lot. But what's yours? Um, not really childhood, but when I was 13, uh, competing at a no particular competition, I, I was competing and I had these like kind of like shorts. I had booty, sh like these like booty shorts and a, like a skirt in the back and I went to do like a... No, it's dirty in my room. I went to jump or in the living room and I um, stepped on the skirt and then I turned to the back and my whole like two sesame seed buns were out. Well, um, <laughs> if I had the video, we could totally like censor it and put it on there, but I, <laughs> leave I, out the, I don't. Leave, leave out the tush. Um, <laughs> so I did a lot of things, but when I was like, I don't know, whenever the whip and nene was um, <laughs> popular, uh, I think I was like- 10. Side note, we need to bring that sh back. <laughs> yeah, let's bring it back. Wait, to wait, wait. But anyway, when the Whippinini was popular, uh, I think I was about 10, but anyway, I was going really hard at the dance, right? I thought I was really cool. And I was in sneakers, like on a, like a sticky floor. And this knee, I think it was this knee, <laughs> like went in because I just don't have any mobility. So like my foot stayed and my knee went in, right? I sprained my knee from doing the Whippinini and I had to wear a brace for like a month and <laughs> I couldn't dance, and when everyone asked, I had to tell them that's what I did, and it was really embarrassing. Continuing with the icebreakers. <laughs> Dude, when they put the whip nene at the function, you know that shit's gonna be lit. What's the uh, cringiest dad joke you know? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know any dad jokes. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me think. I don't really tell dad jokes. My best dad joke is... Here we go, you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> you ready? Why did Jonathan bring a ladder to school? Why? Because he wanted to be in high school. <laughs> I got another one, I got another one, I got another one. so stupid. What do you call a cow on the ground or on the floor? Ground beef. What do you call a fish with no eye? <laughs> That's so stupid. I think you did enough for both of us. Next icebreaker, I didn't do one because he did enough for both of us. What's the cringiest thing you've ever shared on social media? I don't share cringy things on the internet. Probably my home screen or my lock screen in one of Eva's videos. Um, and it was someone. <laughs> for shall every, not be yeah, named. Yeah, for everyone that has ever wondered because it was never addressed, it was one of my close friends holding up a middle finger and it was really funny. So it was my lock screen. But um, that was really embarrassing because there was a lot of like different comments about what it was and they, they were just all so far off. So, there's your answer. Uh, probably just any of my TikToks from like 2019. Oh, actually? We could find some. I'll, I'll, we'll insert one of my TikToks right I here. Have... Hey, yo, Christmas check. Some really horrible TikToks from 2019. Oh, they're, they're from 2019. Like mine, oh, he didn't see my old account. He didn't know me. But those are horrible and those will never. Know me. Yeah, those will never be shown. No one will ever see those ever again. Sorry. Do you have an embarrassing nickname? What is it? Um, one of my friends called me Nutmeg because I'm allergic to nutmeg. <laughs> one of my friends called me Baby Barbie Doll because I wore mascara to like an event once. I don't know. That's not really embarrassing. But Nutmeg because I'm allergic to nutmeg is pretty funny. I don't really have an embarrassing one, but I know you like. Uh, three of my closest friends call me PK. Don't know how that started. Cause it's like part of my initials and I don't really know how that started, but I guess they just started calling me PK and now I, I haven't heard them call my actual name like ever. Yeah, when I was up there in the summer, cause I don't call him PK, I just call him Parker. Cause yeah, that's weird. To, sorry. Yeah, it's like that's a, a guy thing. That, yeah. That's a us but thing. But they all called him PK. They're like, hey PK. And I was like, <laughs> oh, what's your favorite kind of obscure meme? 
I know this answer. On Instagram Reels, there's these videos, or at least right now, like before it used to be the um, sponsor. Um, <laughs> it used to be the um, oh, the gnome videos, the like crawly goat videos. I will insert that here. <laughs> Um, like the little dudes, like being gnomes against the knights, and then now it's like the Polish like bull bear memes. I don't know. I find them so funny. Bull bear. <laughs> anyway, my favorite meme. I really like the duck memes and the goose memes. Um, and the raccoon. You don't know how many of those memes. I got a day. And the raccoon memes. I think they're really funny. I'm pretty sure and I'm I really, you sent me at least twelve. Probably. And I really enjoy the fact that it pisses people off that don't think they're funny. It's just stupid. They're like, this is not funny, stop sending them to me. I'm like, say that and I'll send you more. <laughs> what? I look like Jim from The Office. Ross from Friends, Matt from Vampire Diaries, Dean from Gilmore Girls, or anyone from Bizarre Bar. Who would win in an arm wrestle? You. 100%. I can pretend. I'd crush you. I didn't try. I didn't even try. He's just so built. I'm so buff. What's the funniest dance move you can come up with on the spot? Gargly odd. You gotta show us. <laughs> I can't do one. Exactly. You gotta, you gotta do it. One leg goes in like this, and the other goes out like this. And you do it at the same time. Moral of the story? I can't do one. That's a silly little dance move, in my opinion. What's a silly dance move of yours? <laughs> I don't have one. What's a fictional character you would hate to be sat next to on a long flight? With you and the <laughs> Marjo, the Zosbar show. Hate that show. <laughs> Wasn't freaking Logan Paul on it? Logan Paul, G. Show, ass. Wait, isn't he the one who's gonna fight Mike Tyson? Don't you like him? I want Mike Tyson to win. Yeah, but whatever, he's fine. I like guess. Logan, because he's a WWE superstar and he's awesome. Oscar the Grouch, because he smells like trash. Or like Yama from Big Hero 6, the big dude. He bought fights at the beginning. What's the most random fact that you know? Male seahorses give birth. Oh, I did know that fact. What day should be a holiday that isn't? I don't think it's necessarily a day. I think that veterans should get a month. I was about to say that. Um, I, I'm a firm believer in that, you know, veterans or just people who fight in our U.S. military, um, they fight for us, they fight for our rights and everything, and I think that they should be honored with not just a couple of days, uh, with a whole month, because, you know, we wouldn't be here without them, you know what I mean? I was gonna say that. What haircut of yours would you never recreate? Your bangs? <laughs> When I was a kid, I used to get violent bangs, like violent straight across, really shiny, horrible. And my side part, and slicked, actually side part was fine, slicked back high bun, never do it again, ever. Yours is your helmet. I, I think, I think the aggressive, super short hair will never make a comeback. Never. I don't think it will. TikTok trend do you hate? The Tyla dance. I don't know, I'm not on. I really TikTok. don't like that dance. I'm on sports and WWE TikTok. That's about it. Oh, I got this one. What slang word or phrase do you hope we retire soon? I don't even think I can say that. It's giving. I hate it. <laughs> oh. I hate it. Stop saying it. It's so annoying. It's, it, it, <laughs> it's giving. Like... Not just like, oh, it's like blah, blah, blah. I just suppressed about it. I hate it. It's so annoying. It's giving okay. nutcracker. Let's take a chill pill. <laughs> My is, if I hear one more person say skibbity toilet or yacht, I might just actually cry. Okay, wait. Stop. Here we no, go. No, hold on. <laughs> I was in the grocery store the other day, and from across the aisle, I heard a little girl, Oh my god, skibbity toilet, mom, look! <laughs> what are you doing? 
What are you doing? I literally, I, and, oh my God, yeah. What are you saying? What even is that? Stop. Literally stop. Actually stop. Bring back Bay. I don't even care. Bring back Bay. Say fire more. I don't care. Bring back Fleek and it would be better than Skibbity Toilet and Giot and whatever they say. And Phantom Tax. Like, shut up. So brain rot. I hate all of those words. Stop saying them. Why are you letting your children say dude, them? Dude, dude, Stop being so skibbity phantom tags. I might just actually throw myself <laughs> off of the balcony. Okay, okay, side note. Um, not like, it's not really like brain rot, rot words, but there's these videos on TikTok I find so funny. It's like, you know when you put pasta sauce on pasta, the sauce, pasta, the sauce? <laughs> I find those so funny. You're so phantom tax. What does that even mean? Someone explain to me. What does that mean? You just you're not phantom tax. Why are you saying it? Because it's funny. That it makes, that makes me makes mad. You upset. Okay, so I should be like, oh my god, it's giving brain rot then. <laughs> if it makes you just made yourself more upset. It's giving brain rot. It's giving <laughs> you hate the word toilet. I because you don't understand where it came from what ohio ah! <laughs> i hate it i hate it oh my gosh you're from the I ohio whatever skibbity toilet brain rot blah 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 shut up no one cares no one cares i think that's where we end the video to be I got so too honest many okay guys Thank you so much for watching our, what's it called, uh, icebreaker questions. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video. All right, we're going to turn you off in one, two, three.